all, welcome to my almost full first listen of NCT's Universe album. Today we're just going to be checking out the main tracks from the album, so NCT Dreams Dreaming, Wavy's Miracle, NCT 127's Earthquake, NCT U's uh, Universe Let's Play Ball, and Beautiful. So you may be wondering why I'm not doing a full album first listen, and that's mainly because of my time availability and funds, budget, money. <laughs> Ever since I stopped editing every single video going out on this channel, I had to hire a bunch of editors and making first listens takes a lot of time and it costs us a lot of money that we obviously do not get back because we cannot monetize the copyrighted music that we are reacting to. So that's why you have seen the, the amount of first listens start to deplete on the channel over the last year or so. But I have pulled some time together to react to these five tracks, which we may have to split this video into two parts if SM takes it down. I know first albums listens aren't really allowed on YouTube, but sometimes we can get away with it. Thank you SM for putting our ESPA first listen back listen up. Wait. ESPA first listen back listen up? What did I say? ESPA first listen back up. Is that what I said? I don't know. But yeah, thanks SM for putting that back up. And I have checked out the B-sides for this album already. I will say birthday song, birthday, happy birthday, bir 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 mm, birthday party. Birthday party was my favorite, especially the wow part. Anyways, so while you are all waiting to see which songs from the album make it onto our main series, the Classical Musicians React series, let's check out these five tracks together. First up, I guess we'll try to go in order. I might have messed this order up, but I think the first released was NCT Dream Streaming. Let's get it. Three, two, big, big dreams, dreams and big thrills. I ripped out my headphones. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. <laughs> no. Ooh. Dreaming indeed, taking the music box sound. A little bit more electronically affected. I like the contour. Oh, it's so nice! They take the intro. They put it down the octave in a different synth. I love the texture changes so far. Oh yeah, baby. Very intimate singing. I like the addition of the new beat change here. But we're still keeping in. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Still there. Ooh, those harmonies in the back. They're creating a really good atmosphere with their synth choices and where they have the bass panned and make sure you're listening with headphones. I would like to dive into the vocal rhythms right after this. Some nice development. And the rappers for the bridge. Oh! Oh, we're gonna. I believe that's just scalar motion, but I still like to figure it out on the piano. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, the package. Complete. Ending where we start. It sounds as if they, the main music box, or yeah, we're gonna call it music box, sound is created by a layer of two different synths. Yeah. Oh, it is two. We have two octaves. Wait, because the timbres are so similar, my mind is wanting to meld them into the same thing, which made me feel like, okay, they're doing the exact same thing. They are the same. No, but we have like, wait. Ah, it's contrasting motion. So we have this descending motion in the, the upper bell-like synth. So it descends, goes up. Whereas the the bass bell, I think I found it out. I might be wrong. So the bass bell goes like. So while the upper one is descending, this goes. Contrary motion. One's going up. One's going down. Yeah, that's it. Oh. That's fun. Sometimes in rhythmic unison, sometimes the lower bell hits and the upper bell doesn't hit. That's really satisfying to hear. And I love that motif. Personally, I do like taking out motifs completely for certain sections. This one pretty much repeated throughout the entire song. So not my immediate cup of tea, but there were some other aspects of the song that I wanted to talk about. Talking about the verse vocal rhythms in contrast with the hook, because the hook, we a lot of times it was just constant what we call eighth notes, that, 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 very sturdy. And then we had a little bit more syncopation in the verses, one, 10, three, two, one. A lot of the phrases are starting on one and da 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 so not if I'm clapping one, two, three, four, they don't start on the one. They go da 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 which just provides a little energy lurching forward in the phrase. There we go. Yeah, they really mix up the flows in the verses. They always start the rhythms off the same way, and then the end rhythm changes of the phrase. So it's like same, change, same, change, same, change. Pretty nice. Bridge. I cannot necessarily break down chords very well, but we will break down melody. Yeah, the rise and fall with the instrumental in sync with. Here we go. Here I believe Hei Chan just climbs up the E flat minor scale, which the key is in. He just goes like that. And then just keeps going for the second iteration, so. Why is that so satisfying? Ah, I think it's because all the instrumental disappear and it's just Hei Chan alone. <laughs> With some beautiful background harmony. It's like you are in this dark cave and then you run out of the cave. <laughs> That's what the ascending scale felt like. Just coming from, I think it was Jamin's, right? Jamin's like dark rapping with all the, the loud bass around it. And then we just have like, maybe it was like this under him and then him going like, Whoa! yeeting himself out of there. All right, let's move on. Wavy miracle. Three, two, miracle. Hey. We've got uh, most of our love talk crew here, I believe. Wow, that sine wave, hard pan left, a lot of reverb, lots of leaps. Mm -mm. Satisfying melody. Come alive, I don't ever take a night. Yeah, taking the bass beat out for a few bars makes it so much more satisfying when you add it back in. 
On to something, which brings us into a chorus. Da 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 da. This melody is so easy to catch on. I'm guessing all of y'all were able to sing along by the end of it. My intention is real with the feeling is true. Human nature innovator if you're feeling it too. Really, I just want a rich try to They really know when LD noise knows when to add in like little bits of instrumental flares and when to direct your attention specifically to Oh, I like new pre chorus. Naturally, we're gonna have to break that down later. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a two chorus song? Outro. Chorus song. Woo! Hey, well, first of all, the form was an interesting choice because I loved, did I, did they start off with a chorus? Maybe they went chorus, verse, pre-chorus, bridge, chorus, outro. I would like to dive in and double check that because I think the form that they chose for this song was really smart to do because of the catchiness of the chorus. A lot of the melody in this was musical phrase, repeat, repeat, repeat. Musical phrase, repeat, repeat, repeat. Rappers go off, musical phrase, repeat, repeat, repeat. And then like that, that bridge, maybe pre-chorus part, we had ventured somewhere else, right? Um, so the fact that if there was only two courses in it makes sense because of the amount of catchiness and repetitiveness that we had within just the hook phrase. <laughs> Is this a chorus? Verse. Verse. Really long verse. Pre chorus. Oh, it did start off. Okay, so we started off with the chorus melody, but really stripped down instrumentation and none of the backing vocals or harmony. So we did have the chorus three times, but it was. had some variation in it each time it repeated. That's Adrian McKinnon. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. There's been several times during reactions where I'm like, oh, that's an Adrian McKinnon melody. And then he comments like, oh, that was Kinsey. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. Four, five. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just it's just the um, leading tone. This is the seventh note in the scale which is so satisfying ending a phrase on the leading tone because it really pulls us to Ooh, yeah, we adventure a little bit out of the key there as well. Um, Cause we go up chromatically, here's our home key. We go. Woo. 
Yeah, and then we had we had some. The production is fun to listen. That one second leading up to the chorus, what they do there to transition. Three, two, one. So we had a riser. We took it out, and we had like a little bass, and then we had like Wah! we had some reverby, and then we had like. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a cool transition. Yeah, my love for this song is focused on that one section. It was gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Okay, earthquake. Let's go. Three, two, SAT, one, two, seven. Yeah, what a big earthquake. <laughs> Burn shine. That had a bit of bass on it. I just kind of want to start over. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many different. Uh, unique sounds already. It sounds like a very reverby sitar. Starting over, three, two, one. Yeah. Lots of woo -woo -woo reverb. <laughs> okay, Johnny. Hello, Phrygian. There's some, the synth in the bottom, the bass synth, ascends when I don't expect it to. A little major? Was it major? It's so hard because the timbre of all the instruments are so dark, but once in a while they add in, I think, some major modal mixture, which is a lighter sound, but it's hard. Is that moonshine? Is that the just the beginning of the producer tag? Just I feel like I'm on a journey right now just because of all the different sounds passing by me on the right and left. What is that sound? <laughs> when we first hit the chorus. Oh, beautiful harmony. Yeah, that is some major, right? It's not like we're floating in space while well before we were like on a trembling ground. jump scare. <laughs> okay, so so far this is definitely most likely to show up on the reaction panel for the whole crew of musicians because I think I could go and re-listen to this right now maybe five times and spend perhaps over an hour analyzing the different sounds, rhythms, production, harmony, vocal rhythm, 
per- percussion. Like there's uh, there's just, uh, there's so many things to talk about, and I don't know where to start. I just wanna. Are we gonna go in for a second listen? Yeah, we're gonna play and pause. Three, two, one. What did they start off with? They uh, It sounds like you dropped a metal ball in a cathedral. Yeah, that's and then you took away the attack and it was just the reverby sound after it. At the very beginning, along with the bass and the. I don't know which instrument it is. Three, two, one. I think what also makes the melodies in this so fun is that even in the instrumental, they hit a lot of the leading tones and they constantly go back to it. Because I think this is in D. So we hit a lot of the raised seven that has lots of pull to here. And then we also hit a lot of which brings so much darkness. It, it feels like I'm engulfed in darkness with the reverby sense. Yeah, textures. Okay, starting again from the beginning. Oh, that's normal too. So not quite Virgin yet. Yeah, that's gotta be or it just might be a normal sung voice, baby synth pitched. 18-3-2-1. I love the hit I I love I love this uh bass synth or or 808 in sync with the kick. Um because it hits it, hits it, and then it's like it's like 30 second notes. Ooh. 41, 3, 2, 1. We still have that, but it's panned back and forth. It's completely transformed because it's going in between. It feels muffled. It isn't as clear. Um, 49, 3, 2, 1. What? 49, 3, 2, 1. Who is that dude? Fifty-three, fifty-one, three, two, one. Save me! Oh, he's saying save me. Okay, one, oh, three, three, two, one. Wow, Mark! Ba, ba. He really ba, ba, Gucci <laughs> or whatever. Sorry, I probably butchered the second half of that. But ba. one twenty nine, three, two, one. Uh-huh. And bring him back in. <laughs> and we take the the plucked guitar esque instrument and we just use. I like you. One thirty five, three, two, one. Right now, it feels like we're in a sandy desert and we're just like zooming around on motorcycles. (laughs) Okay, right. I wanted to talk about the bass ascending when I didn't expect it. And I think it's partially because of what the vocal line is doing that makes me, you know, do that dog like, huh? Huh? They have some weird rhythm thing going on there. Oh, I love the rhythm. Oh, there's so many leaps and it's like, it's so fun to listen to. It really, it really grabs my attention. So we're going like, I think maybe that's what, why, how they're trying to create the wobbling feeling is 
just not having the vocal line and the bass line up. So you're kind of just like, whoa. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Universe, let's pay ball. Woo, music video time, let's go. NCT's had a lot of sports related themes. Cause Hello Future was on like a soccer field, right? We've got punch, got taekwondo kick it. We've got baseball, we've got 90s love, which is hockey. Are they like the sports people in the Kwangya? What would Wavy be? What sport would they be? Well, then there were vampires for a quick second. Sticker, cowboys, yeah, not a sport. They took a little break from sports. They took some time off. Oh yeah, and then NCT Dream also got uh, car racing, right? Some food for thought. Three, two, three, two, incoming! Let's play ball. Let's play ball. We're not gonna get it incoming. We didn't get it incoming. That intro was fantastic. <laughs> Super Junior, is that you? That's one of my favorite composing techniques in music, just having a bunch of running eighth notes or some sort of subdivision, some, some sort of grouping of 18th or, sorry, I said, I can't talk while well, marks are happening, let's go. Yes, it comes back. That rhythm sounds more like SNSD. <laughs> I need to figure out the rhythm of that synth in the back. I love... Okay, I can't talk, I can't talk. I'll talk about that later. Like the addition of the guitar. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh boy, NCT is taking over my top songs on 2021 list. Oh my god. It's just all, all gonna be NCT in day six. <laughs> Anespa. Nice. Once again, I do not know where to start. This song. Wow. <laughs> the, okay, so my two favorite songs so far has, I think obviously has been Universe and Earthquake. Earthquake really put me in a very visual scene. This was a jam, a bop, and there were some moments where I was like really drawn to a specific thing happening, like that little bird and a because that came out of nowhere. Um, of course, the, the acapella layered 13th chord uh, harmonies that we've heard in second generation S and, uh, uh, SM, K-pop like Super Junior and SNSD and, and Shiny and TVXQ. Uh, and then that build up, we just missed something. My one complaint, my only, my one thing is that build up did not pay off. It was like build up, build up, build up, and then back to where we've been before. I think we needed like a little, I think it, it might be considered a trope now, but I think it would have paid off if we had like a little pause or some hits like what Moonshine did in Earthquake, some yelling, <laughs> some yelling back in. It sounds like they had something there and then last minute they're like, eh, let's just get rid of that. And then they just sewed it together. I just want to listen to that one more time. <sighs> second listen, second listen, second listen, three, two, one. I think we should probably break this video into two parts. <laughs> wait up, wait up, wait up. Let's play ball. Yeah. Let's play oh, ball. I want to talk about this. Let's play ball. Let's play ball. Universe first, 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 first. Let's play ball. Let's play ball. Universe first. Let's play ball. What you got? <laughs> wait, I can't. <laughs> This is so satisfying that what you got. What you got. That's so satisfying. And then how the vocals just seamlessly enter in. Is one of the earlier songs. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Like R and B essence. Shota! Woo! Let's talk about why that's so like what? So this is where we are key wise. Those are the notes belonging to this key. And then uh, 103, 3, 2, 1. So we go, those are notes, right? Instead of, we go, I think we go here. Is it tritone? Is, 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 is them joints do a tritone again? 1, 0, 2, 3, 2, 1. No. Okay, not a tritone. But it still sounds weird because neither of these notes are in the key of C minor. So SM does this thing where they have a really thick harmonic chord and a lot of those notes stay the same as, as the lyrics go on, but one of them or two of them moves. And so that's what's happening here. Um, we have a chromatic descent where the rest of these stay the same. One time, three, two, one. Love the Okay, so someone tweeted me, why do the fast synth in the background give me so many uh, uh, dopamine? This is one of my favorite things to happen in music. And it just, it feels like you're flying. It feels like you're running because the, no the notes are like just, they're, they're happening so fast and they're sparkly and they're, they're uh, uh, texture that contrasts and rhythm that contrasts with, uh, with everything else that you're hearing at that moment. Here it just sounds like da 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 might be triplets. One, two, three, 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 while everything is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 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 is 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 in the background. Oh and they have the the syncopation, which feels almost as if you're like 
you're you ran and jumped off a cliff, but someone grabbed you, and you're safe. One thirty-three to one. Da 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 da
Yeah. Is that how they're doing it? Duets. Do Young and someone. Oh! Little blue note. Bend. They do a good job in continuing the thickness of the harmony that we're hearing right now in the vocals to when we have a soloist come out by continuing it in like, ah, the ahs. Different harmonic land. Adding a little that saw to it. Where, 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 Isn't the sound of rubbing a glass? Yeah, the ascending of towards the end of the chorus. Yeah, the trade off between the soloist and the group singing. It's nice. Oh, they're still going. They're still going. They got some panning on towards the end of that. Okay. I'd love to talk to whoever had to record and mix this because they include, they, wow. I feel like in the past NCT 2020, 2019 stuff, they maybe had to just record like, whoa, and like some shouts from everyone. But this was full on melodies. This must have been hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours in the recording studio and figuring out how they can include as many different timbres as they could in the group singing parts and trying to figure out which uh, note in the chord of the melody. So right, chord meaning like multiple notes stacked upon each other, like which one to make sure that's the loudest and other ones, which one should be slightly quieter and which harmony should be a little bit louder. Like there's a lot of thought that went into that. As for the vibe of the song, comforting, hopeful, bright, not really my cup of tea. Although there has been some comforting, hopeful and bright. I, t I tend to like ones that are tinged with sadness. Um, like, I don't know how many of you watched Kevin's and my uh, NCT song raking uh, video, but without you. That one has a tinge of sadness because we have a tiny bit of modal mixture in there. But this was just pretty much one color throughout. When I was listening to it, I knew kind of immediately, ah, yes, this is just going to be the same color for the rest of the song. And I kind of know where it's going to end, what it's going to do, what it's going to say. And I like, I like, as you saw earlier in this video, I like being tripped up and a lot of unexpected things happening with Earthquake and Universe. Um, but this, this was successful in its hopefulness. We always got those eighth notes running forward. Always, it's always there. I think
think even in the verses. Okay. Maybe not, but same chord progression. Oh no, it's there. Da, 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 da. Maybe just the bridge. Yeah, the bridge was the only time that we took out <laughs> the eighth notes. So that's, that's how they provided the motion forward and that's how they turned me off of the song. <laughs> but I'm sure so many people listen to this and they feel those eighth notes in their soul, moving them forward and moving them upward. And I can understand why this, this is such an uplifting song for so many. But um, yeah, so what, what are your favorite songs from these five? What are your favorite B-side songs? My favorite B-side song is Birthday Party because that has quite a few fun, unexpected changes in it. We adventure into different harmonic lands, a lot of different field changes, which is what I'm drawn in by. We have a lot of different NCT songs to choose from. <laughs> As you all know, requesting, where's your reaction for this, where's your reaction for this? We're really behind on reacting to NCT things and that's just because they have too many good songs, all right? It's because they have too many good songs and we're a reaction channel that tries to react to as many different artists as possible and with a very limited schedule. So we have to be very selective in NCT tracks so we can also feature the hundreds of other K-pop artists in the industry. So thank you for sticking around with us even through gaps of no NCT reacting. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.